Hi again. Um, this video is going to be on um, the reactions of Bronsted, Lowry, acids, and bases. So we've gone over just the general idea that an acid is a proton donor, hydrogen H plus donor, and a base is a proton acceptor. Okay, and so now we're just going to look at how the reaction actually occurs. So here we just have um, a general acid, so A for acid, and it has a hydrogen on it because that's our definition. And then we have a base, and we said that our base has to have a lone pair. Okay, and so what happens is really at, it's at the electrons is what we want to think about. There's two ways to sort of look at this. Um, because I'm an organic chemist, I look at the electrons. Um, but you can see here that bases are attracted to acids. The reason for that is because this A is usually something that's electronegative. And so it has a partial negative charge and the hydrogen has a partial positive. Okay, and then we know that lone pairs, like of electrons, these have a negative or a partial negative charge. And so throughout this series of videos in this course, I've talked about how opposites attract. Positive charge attracts to negative. So if this is negative or partially negative, just lone pairs of electrons, and electrons are negatively charged, then negative is attracted to positive. Okay? And when this happens, we make a bond. So you make a bond between B and H. Okay? And so here is that bond. Okay? Notice that it gains a, a proton, a positive charge. Therefore, it, be, it goes from being neutral to positive. Okay? And then you may be wondering, here we have a bond which has two electrons in it. Okay, hydrogen, if we make a bond here, okay, hydrogen can only have one bond. Therefore, this bond has to break. Okay, and therefore, A gets a negative charge because those electrons here in this bond are then essentially pushed onto or broken off and, and go onto, and there they are here, the lone pairs, onto whatever A is. So if it was HCl, then that would be the chloride or the Cl there. And it gets a negative charge because it gained electrons, so it gets a negative charge, and then the base gained a positive charge. Okay. So in a nutshell, hydrogen lost, or the acid lost a hydrogen. Okay, so there it is in red, and the base gained a hydrogen. Like I said, because I'm an organic chemist and I like to show electrons and why things happen, that's why I showed it to you here. But you can also look here, we lose a hydrogen, becomes negative, the base gained a hydrogen. Alright, and we give names to this. So HA is our acid, obviously, here. Here's our base. Okay, if you look on the other side of the equation, an acid has a pair, and its pair is called a conjugate base. So we call this the acid conjugate base pair. So whatever's on the right hand side of the equation here on your products, that's abbreviated there, um, an acid, when it loses a hydrogen, it becomes a conjugate base on the right side. A base, when it gains a hydrogen, becomes the conjugate acid. So the conjugates are on the product side, okay, and acid pairs with conjugate base, a base pairs with a conjugate acid. So the product formed by loss of a proton is called the conjugate base, and the product formed by gain of a proton is called the conjugate acid. Okay, so here we have actual chemicals here. We have water and HBr. So we know that HBr is an acid, therefore the water has to be a base. And we've discussed, and we'll look at it in detail in a few minutes, that water can act as an acid or a base, but it acts as a base here because HBr we know is an acid. 
Okay, well, when HBr loses that proton, those electrons go onto the bromine, and then its pair, it goes from being an acid, losing a hydrogen, to being a conjugate base. The water gains a proton, right, because bases accept protons, and acids donate them. So it donated a proton. The base gains one. Okay, therefore, it becomes a conjugate acid. So the base goes with the conjugate acid. HBr and bromide are a conjugate acid base pair. And water and hydronium, H3O+, are a conjugate acid ba base pair. And notice that the net charge on both sides is the same. So here we have zero charge, neutral. Here we have minus one, plus one, which equals zero. Okay, so if it's neutral and you lose a hydrogen, you're gonna, it's going to become negative. And then if it's neutral and it gains an H+, plus, it's gaining positive, it's going to become positive. Okay, and this just shows what I said. said. If you have a species that gains a proton, it has a positive one charge therefore it becomes positive. If you have a species that loses an H+, plus, it then becomes negative because it lost positive charge, so it goes from being neutral to negative. Here it's neutral, it gained a plus charge, so it became positive. Here it lost a plus charge, so it became negative. Alright, so here is water again, so I mentioned that it can act as an acid and a base, and that's because it contains a hydrogen, or really two here, either one, that is acidic, so it has an acidic proton, but it also, a base we said has to have a lone pair, and it also has a lone pair of electrons. So it has both. Therefore, um, we call it amphoteric compound. And if it acts as a base, we know bases accept protons. <clears throat> if it gained a hydrogen here, then we get hydronium. That is just the Lewis structure of H3O+. And then if it acts as an acid, that means that it loses a hydrogen, right? So that hydrogen is removed, and it becomes hydroxide. So this is OH minus, that's dehydroxide. So if it acts as a base, then this would be its conjugate acid here. If it acts as an acid, this would be its conjugate base. All right, so we're going to do some practice um, before we end this video. And we have some reactions, and then a few that we just have it tells us here just to write the conjugate of the compounds listed. So if you're writing the conjugate base of each of the following, so let's think about what would happen. Okay, we have acids here, and we want to draw the conjugate or write out the conjugate base. So we know acids lose protons, right? And all these are neutral, so if it loses a proton, we're going to get this. Same here, we're going to get SH, and we're just going to pretend that we're just going to lose one proton, so we get SH minus, okay, here we have carbonic acid, if it loses a hydrogen, then we get HCO3 minus. And so that minus could be here or over here, it doesn't matter. The idea here is if you draw a conjugate base, that means that you lose a proton from the acid because acids um, lose protons to form. So an acid becomes conjugate base. Okay. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to write the conjugate acid. 
So here we have bases. Bases gain protons. Okay. And so here we have negative charge. So if it gains one positive charge, it's now going to be neutral. Okay. If we have a neutral base like ammonia here in this B, okay. If you have something neutral and it gains a plus one charge, then it goes it's like saying zero plus one. So it's going to be have a plus one charge. So we're going to get okay, remember that's ammonium, a, a polytonic ion. Okay, hydroxide, if it gains a proton, it's negative. So then negative one plus one equals zero, right? So it's going to be water neutral. So the conjugate acid of hydroxide is water. Okay, this next part, I didn't really write out instructions. We're just gonna talk through it. We just wanna label our acid and our base and our conjugate acid and our conjugate base, just to be sure that we see this. So this is nitric acid. It was listed um, in the earlier slides or in a previous video, but just one of the very common acids that you wanna know. Okay, if it's an acid, then water has to be acting as a base. Okay, it can act as both, but it depends on what it's reacting with. HF is also an acid. So this is going to be a base. All right, so then we want to find and label our conjugate acid base pairs. So a conjugate acid loses a proton. Okay, so the conjugate base is going to look just like it, except not have a proton on it. So if I go over here, I know this is my conjugate base. Looks just like it, has that nitrate anion here, but it lost a proton and that's what acids do, right? Acids lose protons, they donate a proton. A base gains a proton. So if we gain a proton, looks like it becomes hydronium. Okay, so up here, the conjugate acid of hydroxide was water, okay? Um, here, the conjugate acid of water acting as a base is hydronium. So here's a base and there's the conjugate acid. Same idea here. There's our conjugate base. Looks just like the acid minus the hydrogen because you lose a proton and then the base there is its conjugate acid, okay, and we gain a proton. Okay, notice if you have hydronium, okay, you're probably going to be an aqueous, or you're going to be an aqueous solution. Okay, remember that H3O plus, just don't forget common sense here and the common knowledge that we've learned. H3O plus, remember, is often just written as H plus, and that is a definition of an acid. So there's no other choice but for it to be the conjugate acid, right? So you can kind of check your work and think about that if you accidentally label them wrong. All right, I hope this helps. Thank you.